Welcome back guys. Welcome back to Glitz and Glitter and we are going to do a little bit of both Glitz and Glitter today. So I have something special I'm going to try for the first time. Thanks to one of the people who commented the other day on one of my uh, my Druzy inserts. If you haven't seen how to make my Druzy inserts, I have a video that I posted back about a week ago. And someone made a comment and said that they like to make borax crystals. And I was like, what? What is that? So I looked into it and it looks so easy, like almost too easy, too good to be true easy. So I decided to go out, buy some borax, buy some pipe cleaners, and give this a shot myself. So I'm going to share it with you. Ready? Step one, you're just going to take these pipe cleaners and kind of fit them together in whatever shape that you want to make because the crystals are going to grow on these when it's in the solution. So my idea is to make it flat. And if this works out, most people were making shapes like amethyst and, and these really cool crystals. I mean, I'm going to do different shapes, but the first one I want to try is kind of like a coaster style. The reason being, if this works, I'm going to use my liquid silicone and see if a Druzy insert will work off of one of these. So that's my idea. So I'm just going to make this uh, coaster shape about the size of the Druzy insert that I want it to be. And you guys, you can apparently color these any color that you want. If you just want to make crystals and leave it at that, you can make them any color that you want and they come out gorgeous. So my question is, is this going to work in liquid silicone and still have the sparkle that my broken glass had for the actual insert? So I don't know how many of these it's going to take, but I will fast forward. So this is what I came up with, nice and flat. So it will be fit inside a silicone mold. If this works, if not, I'm going to have a nice crystal. I hope, like I said, I have not done this before. I've watched it and now I'm going to try it. So we're going to take a string and tie this off. Okay. Next step. What I did was I took a string and I tied it to this coaster type thing. And then I tied it to a stick and I found this vase that I have. And we're going to pour this with the, the mixture that we're going to mix on the stove. So, but what I wanted to do was dry fit it. So I'm hanging it. If you could see, it's not going to be touching the sides. It's not going to be touching the bottom because that seems to be a problem. When it forms the crystals, it would adhere to the sides and the bottom. So you want it suspended. 
and I'm suspending it down low so I don't have to mix up as much mixture. So let's go in the kitchen. I measured how much water I need in the vase and then I poured it into my pan and now I'm just going to bring this water to a boil and we're going to pour in as much borax as it takes till it's insolvent. So once it stops dissolving in the water and you could see some laying on the bottom, that's when we're going to transfer it back to the vase. Okay, this took a lot, a lot of borax. I put in half the box and it's finally now at the point where it's got some parts that are not mixing into the water. So I think the mixture is ready. I'm gonna carefully put it into the vase. filled it up pretty good. Now I'm just going to drop this in. I'm going to cover it with a piece of foil and I'm going to set it aside till tomorrow. It's the next day and I always have lessons for you to learn from things that I've learned. I'm not going to say mistake because this is a learning process. So I did take it out and here it is. This is one side and this is the other. And this I thought was pretty cool. The crystals formed on the string. So if you had the right materials in there, you can like make a necklace or a keychain or something out of that. However, in order to get this out of the vase that I use, let me show you what happened. Here's the vase. This is what happened. So it was free in there. But as you can see, so many crystals formed, it was actually stuck to the side. And the only when I took it off, it busted the side. So we just broke it open to get at least this was already damaged. So I'm like, I want to at least save this piece. So we got this piece out. And 
this piece is garbage. So this was definitely not wide enough. You cannot have something that's too thin or it's going to form so many crystals, it will stick to the side. The other thing, it wasn't in there long enough because as you can see these lines of the pipe cleaners, I don't want those lines because I want to be able to make a silicone druzy out of this and I don't want those lines. So what I'm going to do is try something different. Let me show you. So I dumped the water out of the pan that, um, I'm sorry, not out of the pan, out of the vase. I dumped the water out of the vase and I put it back in the pan. I reboiled the water just now and I added a whole bunch more borax until it was not solvent anymore. I put it in a plastic jug. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to cut this string off for one. And since this is plastic, I don't really care if it gets ruined. I'm going to just lay this in, in here. I'm thinking this side up because this side is a little bit better. And I'm going to let it sit overnight. I'm going to cover it with a foil. I'm going to let it sit overnight and let as many crystals as it wants to form. So I'm just going to stick it in here. If it adheres to the bottom, it doesn't make any difference to me because I'm really just looking for the crystals to look good to make a silicone mold out of it. So I'm pretty sure that all of this is probably going to be crystallized by morning. So I'm just gonna cover this up. And I will check it in the morning. This video is turning into a video of learning lessons. Like I told you in the beginning, this is my first time and I'm learning things. So this is the piece that I just took out of the plastic um, container. This is the top. This is the bottom that went completely flat. So I learned on this one because all these flat pieces, I'm not going to be able to get a good mold of silicone for a druzy off of this. So I went back to the drawing board. I took all that water that I already had that I saved. I brought it back to a boil. I added more borax again until it didn't dissolve anymore. Then I took an old coaster, a resin coaster. I'm like, what can I take that is circular, that is not going to leave me those lines that this one had left me. So I'm like, I'll just drill, drill a hole through an old coaster that didn't work and I'll dump it in. And I also colored the water to see if the coloring would work. So this is what I'm getting from an old coaster. The coaster number one was floating. It would not lay this way. And one side of it had nothing on it. And then this side has the crystals on it. And I think, even though this isn't a beautiful piece of art, this is gonna be fine to make a druzy insert with my liquid silicone. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Clearly don't use resin to dunk into the water. I'm going to save this water. You could see there's no pink in it. So you must really have to saturate your water to get the colors that I was seeing online. But I think that this one might work, so we're gonna try it. So I'm not gonna get rid of this water because I will probably try it again. I will get more color in it and I will try the pipe, pipe cleaners again because it did stick well to the pipe cleaners. It did not stick well to the resin. So I'm going to get rid of this and I am going to get this piece dried off or I'm just going to let it air dry really. And then we're gonna pour liquid silicone on top and see if that works. As I'm sitting here mixing my liquid silicone, I'm looking at this coaster thinking, this is going to drain right off the coaster. So I came up with a quick fix because you only have so much working time and I used duct tape to make some walls around this thing. So I have no idea if this is going to work. So I just, I'm like, well, I might as well try it because at this point I've already mixed the silicone up. This is the silicone I'm using. 
I'll link everything that I use below. But um, at this point, I don't have much confidence in any of this. I mean, I do have, and I'll link my video there of how I made my Druzy uh, inserts with broken glass. See, it's already going over the edge. So I'm thinking the broken glass method is going to be much more successful than this one. What I may do as this is filling up the edges, I might just mix up some more silicone and cover the whole thing and then cut out the part that I want because I'm, I'm fully invested now. There's nothing I can do to stop this. <laughs> so I'm sorry this video is so long. Trust me, I did not expect it to go this long either. But once you're fully invested, you gotta just keep going. So thank God silicone sets up quicker than resin does. So I'm going to go ahead off camera, mix up some more, and just pour it on top. This is trial two. As you know, trial one did not work, so I did toss it. This was trial two, as you can see the remnants. The crystals do not adhere to resin, so don't use resin. However, I was able to get this out of it which came out just fine so i will be able to use this druzy insert so it just came apart and crumbled into pieces when i took it out but i don't care because i got at least one out of it so that was trial two i don't recommend it obviously you're only going to get one insert out of it so i will show you trial three right now I hope you didn't mind just the still shots of trial three because I didn't want this video to go too, too long. But trial three came out pretty darn good. Um, that's one side of it. This is the other side. Um, not sure I can get a druzy from it because it's this way and not up. I could probably black it in like I did on the other one. Actually, I'm going to try it. I'm going to black it in with some tape and pour me a couple coats of silicone on this one. This one is pretty rock hard. It's not going to come apart like it did on the resin. I will keep this in case I want to do another one. As you can see, there is so many crystals. And the other note, alcohol inks does not color this. I had to use food coloring. So the first time was alcohol inks. It came out clear. This time, as you saw in the photos prior to, this was food coloring. So food coloring does work. And this is nice and shiny. So I am going to try to get some druzy silicone inserts off of this one. So stay tuned. Let's see if it works. As you can see, I just made a big duct tape dam around this. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm using my liquid silicone again. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, just like resin is. It's just a lot more expensive than resin, so we definitely don't want to waste this. I thought about making an entire mold, but I don't know that I have enough. 
So I'm not going to do that today, but this crystal should be fine forever to do it later in the future when I get more of this. So what I'm going to do, because if it leaks, I don't want to waste it. So I'm, I just mixed up one ounce, half ounce of each part A and part B, and I'm going to drizzle around the sides until it hardens and it's not going to leak through the tape. So I don't want to lose any. Once it hardens in like an hour, I'll go ahead and pour the rest over it. Then I can trim around like I did the other one and it should come out flat so we could use this druzy. And then we will compare the quality of all of them because now I have druzies that I made from the broken mirror, which is linked below if you want to see that video. I have a druzy now made from the one that just crumbled on me. And now this one will be the third one. So we'll see which one looks the best. I have a feeling that this one will look the best because it's got the nicest crystals on it so far. So I'm just going to make sure this is mixed up really well. You don't have to mix it quite as long as resin. You just have to make sure that there's no streaks in there. And then just pour it and it will cure fairly quickly. So I'm just going to get it down on the edges, like I said, so it'll stop up any leaks that I might have. That's the only thing I don't like is when it leaks on the bottom and it comes out. So once this cures, I will go ahead and pour the rest over the top and we'll peel it off together and we will see which one came out the best. So thanks for sticking around if you're still here. Um, yeah, another, another experiment from Glitz and Glitter. <laughs> Be right back. I was going to save you some time and just show you the end result to save you a little bit of your time on this video. But when I was undoing this, this is the bottom, remember, with the small crystals. And what happened was this hole here, it leaked through to the bottom. So I cut around this edge and I actually got a pretty decent little druzy insert out of it. It's a little deeper, so you will use it on a deeper mold, but it sparkles and it's got a bunch of small little crystals in it. So I'm like, oh, well, there's a bonus for all these tries that I've been doing. So then I'm just going to pull the rest of this apart which, you know, you can make a normal mold out of this. I just didn't prepare it properly to do a mold. I was just looking for the insert right now. But maybe I will prepare a mold and do another video on how to recreate this exact shape with resin. But here is this part. So what I will do is just trim this part off. And you got yourself, I mean, I'll have to go more than this, but I'm not going to do it on film. This is, um, it's too deep right now. So I just want a flat piece, but I just want to be able to show you how good it came out. So I'm pretty happy with the, the final result. I should have poured it a little deeper but I didn't have the walls of the thing high enough to do that. So you can take a piece of silicone and um, silicone that, or if you have it on uh, a silicone mat when you're doing it, that's fine too. So what I'll do is just make this a little bit thinner. That way all these edges are not on here and then you can use that. It's nice and shiny. So maybe I will do a, a tutorial on using this. I just want to show you the difference in the ones that we have done. These three came from last week's with the crushed mirror in resin and then we put this silicone on it. So check out the video below if you want to see how that one was done. You can also see the outcome in the resin because I did do a quick mold with that one. This one is from trial two that crumbled after this was made. But this one is going to be super nice. It's nice and sparkly. It's nice and flat. So this one should work out well. And then these last two are from this last trial three. This was from the top part that had the large crystals. And this was from the bottom part that had the small crystals. 
So we'll have to find a mold to put these in so we could test and see how these came out. I hope you guys learned some lessons that you can implement on making your own druzies. Um, if you do, I'd love to see them and hear about them and see what's going on. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for hanging in there. I know this was longer than normal, but it was well worth all these trials so you guys can learn from my mistakes. I hope you guys have a blessed day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.